Hey, this is Mental. I'm Fake, and welcome back to my Let's Play. And it's um, been a while, uh, two weeks, I think. Yeah. And the reason I haven't mentioned that the reason is that I did record this episode, and it was different. It was very boring, actually. And if I uploaded it, oh, I would have been disappointed. But um, no, um, what happened is I recorded it, and the audio was broken. So. Yeah, that was a pain. Anyway, so two weeks have passed, people have came on and off, and some things have happened. I don't know why the sign is blank, but let's go start off with this thing. Trance has decided to make a um, storage hut. I haven't been inside yet, but I think I can tell what's going to happen. Uh, no touchy, Stu's temp phone. Now. This is a trap chest, I can tell. Wow. Traunt. Wow. Okay. Very funny. Very funny. <sighs> he always loves playing games with me. And he did mention there was lava, I just thought it was going to drop from above, not fall into it. Anyway, so what a way to start an episode. And that's how you avoid the uh, trap. Yeah, lol. Um. So, yeah, basically, you may have noticed the pen is empty, and that is because Dasher is not here, and nor is any other horse. The sad news is, Dasher went missing in action, unfortunately, and I'm pretty sure he's either dead, or if I can find him, and he's probably dead, but yeah, I'm assuming he's dead. and. In the Night Rider Nightmare Ride um, video, I was using a horse. I called it the Iron Horse for what I did. I should probably talk about this, but I'll finish off what I was saying. Um, yeah, that Iron Horse, he's also dead too. He was um, murdered instead, so we'll talk about that later. Anyway, I've been working on the house, and as you can see, this, design, this side I've uh, finished, and this side I've done without the leaves, just so you can see what's behind it. and. Those two blocks need to be replaced. Anyway, I've also done this. I've raised the roof. Uh, Trauntz didn't bother to remove or we'll put any cobble there when he got the coal. And yeah, it's pretty cool. There'll be leaves going down here. I got smooth lighting on, by the way. A few people were recommending it to me. So, um, yeah. Also, you can tell by that. A lot of things here are happening before I say them. But there's a button here which you may have noticed in earlier episodes. You press it reveals my secret door, and that redstone controls the door. Fences look weird on smooth. Anyway, this has got my uh, valuables, it's got uh, levers in there as well. Uh, it's got uh, valuable jewels, armor, got two sets of chain now, a uh, diving helmet, um, boots, uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, got lots of my better books in here. I also uh, got Silk Touch pickaxe right there. Uh, random stuff and empty. So, yeah, that's a bit. Yeah. I'm also going to go. Um, I think we'll fuse two bows together. Two power twos and turn them into a power three. Uh, power two, power two, power three. And there's another power three, so how much would they cost to put together? 22 levels. And this one's got punch two, so. It's kind of better. Anyway, like I was saying with the horses, I thought about it and I think I should start making a horse graveyard because there are so many horse deaths. And I think I know how and where I'm going to build it. Just let me check if I have any iron bars. Also, um, I'll tell you about that in a second. Iron bars are in this chest. Two. No, I can't be bothered making any. I'll go. I should probably show you the end of the chest as well while I'm at it. 
what's uh, what time do I have? Five minutes, not bad. Anyway, um, because last episode I was doing the same thing. I just cut uh, when I went to check the time, and uh, I spent the whole episode talking. I got hidden lighting up there, which is pretty cool, um, and a balcony. So yeah, I've got end chest. I've got anvil. I've got craft crafting table over there. I've got enchantment table. And I got brewing sand, but I'm just going to show you what's in here. I don't think I've shown. Um, don't uh, say. Wait, how can I say this? Don't judge me if I say something which I've already told you. Now, I can't remember whether I had two or three with skulls in the last episode, but there are three there now. I've also got lots of name tags. I've got Eyes of Ender and um, a map. Yeah, and there's my bow, it's um, maxed out. I got this uh, diamond sword, which is good for Wither Boss. I got this one, which I bought off Trance. Also, upgraded my diamond chest plate, and there's a solar panel for spawn. And there's a spare book and quill. But yes, there's something which that chest doesn't tell you. But I have actually found the, um, well, I need to heal up. I have actually found the stronghold using um, my free eyes of Ender. Not those ones, other ones. One of them broke on the way there, and the other two um, I placed in the portal. So yeah, I found it. I'm not revealing its location. Obviously, you can check the seeds if you went back to one of my videos where I showed it. But, um, yeah. We're basically going to verse uh, the Wither later, well no, the Ender Dragon later, we haven't decided yet. I'm thinking when everyone's ready, which should be around 25 max, is it night? Yeah, it is. And Stewie's obviously been working on his house a bit, um, I haven't really seen much of it. Uh, got beef. And he's been working on that, which I'll get to in a second, I know. So, wow, well, it's looking much better. He showed me um, in a creative world. Also, if you're wondering, um, his horses and donkeys are under there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's some of his stuff. And also, when I lost Dasher, I lost my gold horse armor, so I'm currently using iron on my current one. He's called Speedy, he's at Spawn Island. And yeah, nothing valuable. I'm not bothering to check all those um all those things. I think this is the bedroom, but it's not complete. But, yeah, he was also working on that other thing which there's a bed. Uh let me sleep in that. Sorry, Trance. I'm sorry, but I need to use it. Anyway, to the right, funny story. Trance claimed that a creeper blew up in a hole and it revealed, like right there, and it revealed a dungeon. Well, I'll show you. There's a dungeon right here and we didn't know about it. There was even a name tag and he gave it to me along with the um, sword. But yeah, he discovered that by um, by a creeper explosion, so I was pretty lucky. Um, they also come down here. And with uh, earlier today, just before I started recording this video when everyone was on, no one's on right now, no one replied to this, but um, yeah, he actually dug down uh, near the nether portal and he found another dungeon, a skeleton dungeon, it's like, whoa, whoa, really? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was pretty cool, some, pe uh, some people are calling hacks, I... He was in the same room as me, but he wouldn't show me his screen. He was iffy about me looking at his screen, so I don't know. I'm not going to accuse him, but... I mean, it was a creeper explosion. It was an explosion of some sort. It had to be. It looked like one. So, um... And I think that's about it. Uh, at the end, I guess I'll show you the spawn island. Uh, there's a few things that have happened there. Like there's some uh, stone brick. Also, there's the Kirkwood tree. Uh, yeah, one of my, one of us has donated to their friend. 
forget his first name. Yeah, forgot it. Anyway, um, planning on building the uh, graveyard in this meadow, maybe a bit more far that way. But first, I'll show you the underwater tunnel. Slowly progressing. It's not complete. It's still full of water and everything, but. When it does, it means easy transportation to and from the South Island to the Spawn Island. So, yeah, I guess I'll start building it here in the, in the water. Okay, so I'm back and start, time to start getting this going. Time to get this going. <laughs> Slip over time. Uh, where is it? There, yeah. yeah, sorry about that, I had to cut. And so uh, I think this one will be Dash's grave. So we're gonna have two signposts per thing. So, uh, first, first one is, uh, what was his name? Second one is the owner. And third and fourth is way they died. I know he's not technically dead, I didn't see him die, but I'm assuming he's dead. Actually, no, I'm going to change this. So, we got Dasher, and I'm sensing a bit of lag. Uh, legit, minus seven. And then we got Cause of Death here. That's not wrong. I'm gonna just assume it's that. I'll change it later if it isn't. Okay, just. And also, this will change in size. So, this one's gonna be the Iron Horse, the one from um, Nightmare Ride. And this one, oh, I was much more sad about his death. Well, actually, no, I was more shocked by his death and more sad by Dash's death. And so we will go. So its name was Iron Horse, owned by legit Iron uh, Seven. Now listen to this. Push up a hill by the intentionally killed iron horse. That is what disgusts me. Then again, it's Tavis. I mean, what can you do? I thought he was better than this, but clearly I was wrong. And we'll make these gravestones for someone else. Another horse. Probably going to come back and fix this up. But yeah, those, that's how my first two horses died, unfortunately. And now I have another horse which I went looking for, and I've decided to call him Lucky because Tavis also tried to kill this horse as well, so he's a bit of a madman. And Stewie seems to like him, fitting his personality, but um, yeah, it's not good for me. He was left on three hearts when I um, managed to escape with. Lucky, so yeah, I called him lucky for that reason. And also, 
Aeroflow's horse is alive, so I won't be making anything for him. And uh, I'm gonna go and eat a bed. Um, a few things have happened at spawn. One of the more interesting things is the voting board, which I'll get to later. As you can see, there's the underwater tunnel. What's lit up is what I've completed. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of mobs. A lot. Yeah, there's a the voting board right there. Uh, and also, you may have noticed by my hand that I've changed skins, and also when I go inventory. Hey, can you? No, you can't. Uh, we can't really. But basically, I've decided to give myself a white shirt, which I want, which I wanted. I just copied and pasted another Minecrafter's uh, uh, shirt onto me, so I'm going to edit it more. But that's what I did for the time being. And it's actually Doc M77's uh, shirt. So creepers are not fun, but um, yeah, I. I uh, knew he had white shirts, so I downloaded it, and I can sleep here, that's good. Uh, how am I going for time? Let me just check. Okay, we are ending, nearing the end of the video, so I'll just kill a few guys here. Oh, I'm such a lag, why is there so much lag? All sweet leather pants. But yeah, I've actually got Doc M's shirt, there it is. And... Uh, in here, a mule kick and my donkey. Aerofoil should be in... under here, don't ask why. I mean, Torrance is being stupid. And mine is too, I think. Lucky. Okay, now I'm getting nervous, because I... Left Lucky in here. I'm getting lag. Maybe smooth lighting isn't so good for recording. Okay, this is concerning. I'll tell you what happens to Lucky in the next part when I call Aerofoil, because apparently Aerofoil was responsible for it. According to Chaunce. So, I'm not sure what I can trust after what Chaunce did to me, but... This is Chaunce's shop, there's a um, mossy cobble from, uh, hey, we got a zombie guest, hello, uh, this is just a zombie trap, uh, that's from the stronghold, we got that, this is his donations thing, uh, creeper blew up here recently, so the signs are all gone, but yeah, that's basically the idea, and I think I'll uh, get over to the sign next episode, which I'll record after this, so yeah, Thanks for watching, I'm wearing my green leather boots, and I will see you next episode, which will be almost immediately after this one. See ya!